Ford and Holden. They've been at each other's throats now for more than 50 years. And the bitter rivalry is about to go up a notch, thanks to a new supercharged V8 version of the Falcon GT that threatens to depose HSV's horsepower hero, the GTS, from its V8 throne. On paper, the victory is Ford's. The new GT has a massive 335 kilowatts, shading the HSV's still healthy 325 kilowatts. But HSV is fighting back with more motorsport inspired techno gadgets and a much needed cabin overhaul. In the sprint to 100 kilometers an hour, the GTS and the GT can't be separated. They both churn out a 5.6 second dash. But it's the in-gear acceleration of the blown Ford that makes it perhaps the best V8 we've seen in an Aussie muscle car. Round one to the Ford. But what the Ford gains on the straights, it loses on the bends. The GTS, with its adjustable suspension, feels more composed and confidence-inspiring through the corners. Its stiffer suspension means it sits flatter when it's changing direction, and it also has more rear-end grip punching out of hairpins. It also feels more stable under brakes. Round two to the HSV. Out on the open road, the contest is still tight. The Ford steering feels sharper, and the softer suspension soaks up rough country back roads a little better. But the GTS settles better after big bumps, and its ride is slightly plusher at low speed in the city. In the cabin, it's neck and neck, with the Ford boasting better quality finishes, but the Holden offering more gadgets, including its trick new enhanced driver interface. This race car-like display gives readouts on every aspect of the car's performance, from G-force through corners to throttle position and amount of attitude on the car. It also allows you to record lap times at various tracks via a GPS tracking device. In the end, it's a tight call. If you're after sheer grunt, the Ford wins this battle. But the HSV is the better rounded package. It feels more nimble, it's just as quick in the 0 to 100 km an hour dash, and it has a meteor exhaust note. It's also got more gadgets for the driving enthusiast, with the EDI screen, launch control and adaptive suspension all adding up to a winning package.